this is a question that I had, I had from my dad um, a while back ago. I said, you know, dude, I'm struggling with what is going to be my thing, man? Am I going to be the guy that paints cottages? Am I going to be the guy that paints whales? And, you know, what, I want to be something. He's like, dude, stop. You're making it way too complicated. You have the blessing and the curse of being able to paint anything. So paint something for everybody. And that's why I did. I started, you know, I looked at my life as God is the hub and my gift and my talent and the calling on my life of doing art. And off of that hub are these spokes like on a wheel. And here's florals for a certain reason. Here's cigars to reach those people. Here's wine to reach those people. Here's Disney to reach those people. Here's my, the kid in me, that whole line to reach these people. These are all a part of me. And if I was just to go operate and play in one little area, I would burn out. I'd go, I'd go nuts. Creativity, whether you're a musician, an author, a writer, building sculptures in your front yard out of wood. There is a part in our society, and you can go way back, way back in history. Creative people are the ones that are actually taking their soul and bringing that to life out of nothing, out of thin air, and putting it on display for, to be scrutinized in a stadium. You know what, and there's a lot of people in life that'll say, oh, you know what, I got a ticket, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have the ticket, I'm gonna hang out and just kinda look. Then I'm going to be in the stands and I'm going to critique. And then I'll be on the sidelines. I won't be in the game, but I'll be yelling a little bit louder so I can be closer to be actually heard and feel like I'm a part of the mix because I'm actually criticizing and I'm a cynic. But they're joy robbers and they'll never actually give any praise. But I'll t I don't care how bad the art sucks. All I care about is that they took a risk. And that's why I love kids because there is a day when it snaps in their mind that they're, being cri they're, they're taking their stuff critically. Kids will walk up and paint you a blob and just say, hey, look what I made for you. And that's true creativity to me that is uncriticized, that isn't governed at all. And I hope, and that my, my, my heartstring says, when we walk up to that easel, basically it's God as my art director, me as the available producer of it, and he's a director and just says, dude, play. Whatever just fires you up and makes you feel so excited, do that. Go play over here, go, go play in the sandbox, go risk a little bit. That's what fires me up. So the criticism thing is, hey, it's great. Everybody's gonna have an opinion about something. Is my stuff gonna be a museum? Maybe, maybe not. Will it go down in history? Maybe, maybe not. Do I really care about it? Not really. If it connects me with another person, that is measurable fruit for me that will last in eternity. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching BeliefNet. Um, it's been great being here, I appreciate you watching. You can also uh, check up, keep in touch on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and my website, noahfineart.com, and I can be found on social media with Noah Fine Art. Thanks for watching and I'm glad you were here.